Hey guys, it's Jarek there, Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft, and I am standing in front of my buddy right over here. You guys know this target, this is the man sized target um, that I use in every single video. However, I'm going to start recording right next to him at the beginning and ending of the video so you can really see the difference and how big this thing is. It's really not that big, it's a lot smaller than a man sized, or maybe it, it might be midget sized, but it shows a man sized target better than, say, the, uh, the small, like four inch wide. Target there. But that's how big it is. This is going to be the accuracy test of the Subregion License KGW Made 6IR P226. This thing is great so far. I'm very impressed. Apparently, KJW has totally upgraded their, their SIGs. We'll see how much better it is in accuracy. They've added a new hop up unit. It has an adjustable hop up unit this time, kind of like how the high cap is work. Uh, pretty much identical hop up unit. And so far, it seemed to be working very, very well. However, Let's go full in the test, see how accurate this gun is shooting at this target and the smaller one down off frame. So I got a fully loaded magazine loaded with 0.2 gram BBs and propane. This gun shoots about 300 feet per second, so 0.2 should be good. If you want to buy this gun, there's a link in the video information down right over there. It's where you can buy it to RDA's website. There's also a link in the video information to RDA's form. So with that being said, let's see how accurate this gun is. All right, so now you are zoomed in on the four-inch target at 50 feet. Since we know every gun can hit it at 50 feet, we zoomed in to the smaller one immediately. So let's take a few shots. So without even trying, you basically get all around it and on it. And at 50 feet, it's gonna be a very easy time hitting your target. So, so far, 50 feet, great shot. Gonna be very easy to hit your target. Alright, so now you guys have zoomed in on the 100 foot target. We'll start with the man sized target here, then go to the 4 inch target. So, start shooting. Alright, so as you guys can see, 100 feet, man sized target, again, gonna be very easy to hit your target. All right, so now you guys have zoomed in on the four-inch target at 100 feet. All right, so I'm out of ammo, but as a whole, it's shooting pretty dang straight. I adjusted the hop up a few times during the video, so you might have noticed it go up, then go down a little bit. But overall, as a whole, it's flying pretty consistently straight. Uh, 100 feet, hitting that 4-inch target for a pistol is pretty de pretty good. Hitting it at all, anyways. And they hit it quite a few times and hit all around it when it barely missed. So at 100 feet, you're definitely going to be able to hit a man-sized target without a doubt. It's going to be a very easy shot at 100 feet. Alright, so you guys have zoomed in on the 150 foot man size target. This should not be a shot a pistol would be able to hit, but let's just see if the KJW 6 ar P226 stands out above all other pistols, and let's try to hit it. So, 150 feet, point twos, propane. Did we hit it. All right, so not only are we actually hitting it, but we're hitting it practically every single time. And on top of that, the gun's starting to run a little bit cold because I only have one magazine. One magazine of these for the whole tests I have been doing. I am so far very, very impressed. It has hit that man sized target almost every single time at 150 feet. Your gas bullet pistol should not be able to do that. Let's see if it can do that at the 150 foot, four inch target. All right, so now we're zoomed in on the four inch target. Let's see if we can hit it, even if it is getting pretty cold. All 
All right, and now we are out of BB. So it came very, very close, hit it almost, actually, actually it did hit it once or twice. This thing is surprising the hell out of me. This thing works so well for being cold. When I'm shooting it, and I don't know if you guys can hear this on the camera, you can actually hear it starting to freeze. <laughs> you can hear that kind of crackling noise of it starting to freeze. That's how cold it's running, and it's still shooting. It hasn't stopped. On top of that, it's still accurately shooting. And by the way, I have the hop-up tuned down just slightly, uh, but a lot of that has to do with it being so cold. This thing is surprising the hell out of this, this thing definitely stands out. It is definitely really accurate. This is 150 feet. That's a 4-inch target. It shouldn't even come close to hitting that thing. And yet it is, and it's still working perfect for how cold it's running. So this thing is absolutely amazing when it comes to accuracy. All right, so I decided I'm going to totally redo that. However, I'm going to keep the old in just to show you how well this thing works in the cold. So I put the gun next to my uh, gas heater and let the magazine and the gun warm up a little bit. And I have it reloaded. And let's see what it can do under its full potential instead of uh, being incredibly cold. And I, I gotta say, I'm just surprised. I'm leaving that there because I'm even surprised it could cycle. Most guns, when they get that cold, they just spray out all the gas and you're pretty screwed. This one, though, it continues to cycle. It even locked back when it was out of ammo. Uh, so let's just shoot a few shots to see how accurate you can get it. And we were out of ammo. But see how much faster it was shooting and how much straighter it was shooting? We even hit it a few times. And the fact that this could hit it at all is amazing. This thing is an accurate pistol and it works great in the cold. It's absolutely awesome. So far, I am very impressed with this. I used to think KJW was nothing special, but apparently they, they have been upgrading some stuff, like their P226 that Cybergun decided they wanted to pick up and rebrand and put logos on, or not logos, but trademarks on it. So, so far, this is one surprising gun, shooting about 300 feet per second, great gas consumption, and great accuracy. All right, so we got a fully loaded magazine, and fully gassed, and a KJW licensed by Cybergun, Sayer P226. Let's see if I can get that to focus a little bit. I'll show it better in the review. I just wanna show you guys right now. I can. There we go. 6 AR P226. Got more on the grips as well. Focus on my hand. There you go, P226. And then you got more on the other side. But let's load this up. Give you guys some cool first person shooting. Sorry for the noise, I got people cleaning a bus stop across the street. You guys can see how nice this kicks from this angle. And again, Decocking lever and double action. Works great. Overall, this gun feels great while you're shooting it. Holding down the slide release, let's see how much gas it has left, even if I'm shooting it really fast. There you go. About a, a mag and a half. While using that same magazine the whole entire video, even heating it up a little bit so I can continue making the video. But it works great in the cold. Definitely good gas consumption. This is so far a very surprising gun. All right guys, so there you have it. This gun is an incredibly accurate gun. It's actually even surprised me in how good it was in gas consumption and how accurate it was, well, with accuracy. Again, I was using .2s and propane with this test. And the gun overall feels great, kicks great, sounds great, accurate, respectable feet per second. There's nothing more I can really say about it. The fact that you're able to hit a target this size at about 150 feet with a gas blowing pistol is still pretty good. 
and the fact that it works so well in the cold is a definite big plus if you live in the Pacific Northwest especially, or really the north of any part of America. It's going to be a giant plus. So again, if you want to buy this gun, there's a link in the video information to Red Dragon Airsoft's website. There's also a link in the video information to RDA's forum down over in the video information again. Uh, if you're a fan of real firearms, this is definitely going to be one you're looking at. Everyone knows what the SIG P226 is. It's arguably the best 9mm ever made. That's an argument you can put out there. I personally have my favorites over this one, but this is definitely one of the best. So, with that being said, if you again, this is one great gun. So that has been Red Dragon Airsoft's accuracy test of the Cybergun License KJW-made 6IR P226.